Now in this section we are going to know the lifespan of a dairy cow and uh, most uh, farmers will want to know how long do I need to keep a cow um, on the farm before um, it is uh, um, released or before it remains uh, unproductive. We look at the one of the main aspects of um, uh, the lifetime of uh, an animal being described with a very important trait called longevity. And longevity is the ability of a, of a dairy cow to remain on the farm healthy, free from diseases, productive, for as long as uh, the, the farmer would uh, benefit from, from the cow. It's a very important trick uh, for selection when farmers uh, select uh, the animals and when they are doing breeding, they select uh, the genetics based on, a, on how long the daughters of that bull are known to stay on the herd uh, uh, while they are, uh, remain uh, productive. This is a very important trait that smallholder farmers who want to venture to dairy should uh, consider because uh, replacing heifers and replacing dairy cows on the farm may be too costly. And therefore, if a farmer has a cow that will stay on the farm while being productive for quite a long time, then they'll be able to make more returns and they will have less to spend in replacement of stock. Therefore, what's the standard length of um, a dairy cow? In the setup of a smallholder farmers, most cows will stay on the farm for between 10 to 14 years. This is an average of between 8 to 10 lactations. But under good management and with the consideration of animals with a good genetic um, uh, merit, with a high consideration of uh, longevity as a trait, some animals will stay on the farm up to 17 years giving up to a lactation uh, length of uh, uh, lactation numbers of between 13 and 14 lactation. So whenever farmers want to breed, they should also consider longevity as a trait uh, of consideration. While they look for an animal that will produce more milk, they should also look for an animal that will stay on the farm um, for a long time, uh, producing a high amount of milk. And for dairy animals which um, are aging on the farm, they'll normally uh, be faced with a number of uh, challenges. And uh, this will also affect uh, the farmer because uh, most old animals, when they stay on the farm, are tired because um, of the number of lactations that they've been able to uh, attain. Uh, during the, uh, the late days of, uh, of the cow, they will tend to be more weak because their body has been worked up uh, producing milk for all those years. Um, there will be uh, also uh, a reduction in fertility and uh, there are those cases where by, uh, a cow may not even show the heat uh, signs and this is uh, a sign of, of aging. And even uh, moving on the farm they may get too tired easily uh, moving together with the, the other animals because um, they get too tired uh, uh, so fast. And um, it's important that the farmer uh, uh, knows how to manage a, a cow that is uh, uh, old and to give enough feeds uh, to, the, to the cow and not to strain the animal uh, at that age. And again, when it comes to milking, this cow should also not be over milked and uh, be pumped with uh, lots of uh, uh, feeds because they also affect the health of the, of the animal in terms of uh, the strength to digest and convert the feeds uh, into milk. Uh, uh, most farmers who have very good animals and good genetics uh, will always be willing to hold the animal for quite a long time. But um, uh, it is uh, um, uh, an advice that farmers should also uh, know that if, we have, if you see a cow with good genetics, you will serve it just to get the heifers and um, uh, be able to uh, 
uh, remove the animal from the herd to uh, prevent stress and, 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 and loss. And it's a, a recommendation for, you, for a farmer to carry forth good genetics if they still want to uh, hold on the good qualities and traits of the, of the cow. Thank you.